September. Hello. Hello. Um, hey, uh, um, this is Roy. I, I left a note in your car. Oh, hey, Roy. Hey. How's it is, going? Is this Mark? Yeah, this is Mark. It's going pretty good. Yeah, sorry, sorry about the car thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, well, uh, do you work at the railroad there? Um, well, not yet. Uh, see that it, it's I haven't actually dinged your car yet, but I'm going to on December fourteenth, two thousand sixteen, at seven o three p.m. Uh, it's what? well, so there's this experiment we're doing. It's a science experiment, and I'm not allowed to say too much about it. But uh, I think I left the note uh, a little bit too early. I meant to leave it on December fifteenth. Um, the what are you talking about? So it's a it's a time travel experiment, and um, so I I I was just I was driving my my um time vehicle around the parking lot and I, did did you have so I just I I kind of wanted to find out from you if you had anything in your car that would have caused like high electric uh, magnetic pulses. Wait, so so I see some scratches on the bumper. Did you hit my car or not? Yeah, yeah on the back bumper. Yeah. Yeah, because that, that was, well, that didn't happen yet, so I don't think that one was me, because I'm not going to hit your car until December 14th of this year at 7.03 p.m. Hey, how did you, how did you uh, get to my car where you put a note on it? Okay. What were you doing that day? Uh, oh, what was, so we were doing experiments all day, and I, I was actually inside your car in early 2015, and, um... Because I, I had to uh, set up some some some. Uh, hey, Roy, you're kind of freaking me out. Did you did you hit my car? Because I see some scratches on the bumper. Is that you? I don't know if that was me. Because I haven't actually hit your car yet. I'm going to hit it on December 14th at 7:03 p.m. And when yeah, I, you keep saying that, but that, I don't. You know, I mean, I'm not sure about your time travel experiment. It doesn't sound plausible. Oh no! You I just, just want to know if, don't if understand. you if you. Um, if you hit the car or not. It, this is very new technology, and, and it might seem a little far-fetched at first, but it's going to come out soon, and it's going to be a pretty huge thing. I was inside so your Did you leave a note on my car? Yeah. Okay, so I left the note in 2015. I was actually inside your car. Wait. The note just showed up on the weekend. Well, that's that's what confuses me, because I left, I left the note in 2015. I actually got in your car... And I wrote it. I, I um, you know, I needed something to write on, so I opened. Where are you now? Um, I, I'm, I'm in, I'm in the, uh, the lab. Where's that? I, I'm not allowed to say. It's kind of a hush hush situation here. I, I can't really tell you where I am. Are you working with some other people? Oh yeah, yeah. There, there's a whole team of us. And um, after I re- after I left the scene, I, I I experienced a time a time skip. So have did you, you have, tra- did you drive in there with a vehicle? Yeah, yeah, I definitely drove with a vehicle. I was wondering, have you experienced any time skips in your car in the past um, year and a half? Well, I haven't had it for a year and a half. But but when you drove in, what, what were you driving? Oh wait, uh, is it a new car for you? Because I was in your car in 2000. Car for me. Yeah, I was in your car in 2015. I guess you didn't own it yet. Maybe that's the problem. Did you drive into the parking lot there at San Luis train station? Well, I didn't drive into it. I just kind of um, materialized there. But so okay. what hit my car then? It would have been. It, it was me. I mean, it will be me on December 14th at 7:03 p.m. What I'm trying to ask you, this is kind of important. Have you experienced any time skips? Maybe when you're driving underneath some high voltage power lines. I know there's a lot of electromagnetic stuff happening there. I just I don't, yeah, I don't, not that I not, not that I can you know, think about there. Like just missing time, lots okay, of so, missing time. So if, if or you extra drive time? a car, yeah, I I do drive. What are you driving now. I'm sorry. What? What are you driving now? Um, well, I'm not allowed to say it's uh, kind of a, it's, but when you, okay, it's so a when company you, when car. When you dink the car, it, was, it looks like it was just a little, little tiny scratch. Yeah. Yeah. It should be fun. I don't even think I did that one though, but it's hard to tell at this point. That's why I'm trying to ask you about time skips. Well, I had just, I just washed my car and, and actually just refinished the chrome there with just a little additive. 
so I was working on the bumper, so I thought I saw where the fresh scratch is. Mm-hmm. And I was just going to ask you if you wanted to offer me, you know, like a hundred bucks or so, so you don't have to claim it on your insurance. But it, I'm, I'm not sure about all this other business. Well, can I? Can can we? Can we talk? Uh, maybe uh, after December fourteenth of this year. After after. Do you, do you live around here? Uh, I work around here. I I'm just Your number is from Rhode Island or something. Yeah, I'm originally from Rhode Island. I'm just kind of living in hotels while we do all this uh, experimental stuff with time travel. But look, it's it's kind of important. Like if you you know the really high voltage power lines on the big metal towers, I don't think you should drive your car around those anymore. Well, I because you could experience time skips or or I don't or, think I travel too much near those. You know, there's there every now and then you'll. Drive on the highway and they'll be under, they're going over head. If you see one, I would stop. Yeah, like don't get close at all. Well, I guess I'm I'm, I'm kind of wondering if you're just trying to kind of avoid this conversation about hitting the car or. No, no, I'm completely serious. I I just, I'm just, I I, I don't know exactly how to. In some time travel way or whatever, you kind of dinged the car there as you were coming in. Yes, uh, um, yeah. And so you left a note, and I appreciate you leaving a note, but it doesn't feel like I'm getting anywhere with you in terms of resolving. Well, I just, this, this wasn't supposed to happen this early. Um, it's supposed to be more like December 14th or December 15th when you... Yeah, did. but you're not, you're not supposed to run into bumpers anytime. Well, it was an accident. I didn't mean to do it at all. I wish I could, I, I wish I could take it back somehow. I wish there was a way. Okay, well, yeah, it's okay. Things happen. I just... Yep. You know, normally people will exchange, like, you know, their insurance information. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or they'll just say, hey, you know, I don't want to pay my deductible. Let me offer you, you know, a few bones. This is kind of how this works when we're not doing the experience. Right, yeah, but you know I mean? unfortunately, I, I've, it's me and my team. We're all doing experiments. Technically, I was the yeah, driver can, of the car. Well, can you just be off-duty, you know, from this right now and just kind of like you're, you're a driver, you have a driver's license, whatever your job is, whatever you're doing. I don't have a sort of you know. I actually don't have a driver's license from this time period, though, so it wouldn't be valid, and neither is my insurance. Um, I, I won't have a. Right, well, I, I won't have insurance in, until. Uh, if you two- weren't doing all the experience, I think it would go down like this. Like, ju- you know, I don't want to make a big deal out of it. It's just like, how about you know, you give me a, a little bit of money to cover the cost of the scratches on the bumper that I can't buff out. Well, I, I don't. I don't think. Go. I don't think our our, our style of money. Uh, we use uh, credits in the future, and I, I'm not sure that would be compatible with well, I don't whatever. Live in the future, though, what, I'm right what, here. What We're kind right of now. credits do you guys use in 2016? I guess this is just. I just. We're just going to let this go. So. You know, oh no, no! no I, I'm I'm completely willing. My car. There, there's just no way for me really and to uh, to to do this um, until after yeah, there's December. There's really 4- not much way to do any of this. So December- good luck with your experiments, but just you know, if, if it comes to me in my car, just stay away. Just wipe that off your list. Well, it was, was an sure accident. You you were parked in, just- in front of just where the portal opened up. Okay, just don't go near the car. Okay. Roy, okay? Okay, well, I didn't... Can I agree on that? Yeah, of course. It was an accident. I didn't mean to. And I... I yeah, but you're making me feel a little weird with this. Like, it's supposed to happen later. And yeah, and I, I left a note in early 2000. And they open up near my car. Just just don't open any portals near my car again. If you okay, can help. all right. Well, just... Um, Thanks, you, Roy. You really should take me seriously, though, with the, the power lines. Just don't drive around any high electromagnetic stuff, because... Well, I got to go to work, Roy. So there might be a power line there, well, but I'm not going to go up and hang out at power lines. Maybe you should. I'll, I'll agree with you on that. Maybe you should. Um, I'm not going to hang out near power lines. Start using so the bus more. Start using the bus. Thanks for the tip. Bike to work. Yeah, the bus goes out there too, Roy. Well, no, the bus is fine. It's your car that's the problem. If it if it experiences too much ele- electromagnetic um, radiation, it, it's you, you never know. You can, My car specifically is the problem. Yeah, your car because um, of, of the the modifications that we made to it underneath. Why did you make modifications on my car? 
so that it would be, uh, it, it would, uh, you know, it, it was it was supposed to uh, kind of fend, have you been fend under off. my car, Roy? Yeah, yeah. In 2015, we we hooked this up because we were trying to avoid a catastrophe. You're not to hook people up, you know, you don't, you don't do that. That's yeah, you know, it's my property. No, I know, but yeah, it, it's, I think you guys are kind of overstepping there. Yeah, it's for you the know, greater you have good. Your own car that you want to put your own thing under, you can do that. But don't put it under other people's cars. Well, no, it, it was an accident. It, it was it, we didn't mean for this to happen it at all. Sound like an accident. It sounds like something you plan to do. Just no, no. Stay look. away from my car. There's nothing underneath it that belongs to you. I know right, that. Boy? It's just we, we agree we hit, on that. We hit the car first in in in, in December 14th. Boy, we're going to agree to stay away from my car. Of course, okay. yeah. We're we're. All right. I'm going to. Oh, oh, Got it right. Oh, oh, oh. We're losing connection for the time and space time continuum. I hate when I lose connection like that. <laughs>